Hey guys, I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Hi guys. Hey, good morning. You know what? Oh, it's going to be a good day. We're back at it. Uh, you know what? I had a bad run with the last time I did a sauce for this company. and This is Redemption. Tropical Pepper Company. This is their Naga Jalokia hot sauce. Ghost Pepper. All right, so here's the deal. I did a uh, their... Uh, Caribbean, Scotch bonnet Caribbean, super salty. I mean, I didn't dig it. I'm a salt guy. I like salty stuff. So we're going to see if this one's any better. I like the label. Do you notice the skeletonized, whatever that thing is there, toucan? It's that skeletonized toucan. Pretty cool. Holding some uh, peppers. It's caution. Extremely hot. This is what sold me on it. More than one drop. Come on, pull in here. More than one drop is suicide. We're going to find out, people. All right, let me read this to you. Uh, warning. First of all, here's the heat level. It's super hot. It's all the way to the top. Okay, that's what they claim. Warning, keep this away from eyes, children, and pets. Not for people with heart or respiratory problems. The sauce will haunt your dreams with fer uh, fevered nightmares of apocalyptic horsemen dragging your soul to the burning pits of hell. Pretty stout, right? I mean, come on. Uh, made from the world's hottest pepper. No. Uh, the Naga Jalokia ghost pepper uh, was never, never uh, meant to cross humans' lips. Here's the deal. It's 480,000 Scoville heat units, this claims. All right. Um, Tropical Pepper Company, the ghost pepper, I don't mean to do this, give you a, it's come as a blow, but the ghost pepper is not the hottest pepper. The ghost pepper is not even close to the hottest pepper. So here's what you need to do. At this stage of the game, it's bad business or you're dishonest. I think it's just bad business. Fix your label, man. Fix that. It doesn't need to say that. Fix it. Yeah. It's just not. I'm a stickler for that. I mean, there are people still that think in 1998, I think the red habanero was the hottest, uh, was the hottest uh, pepper marked by the Guinness Book. So we've grown a lot then. There are still people that probably think that the red habanero is the hottest. It's not. It didn't even say one of the world's hottest. It says made from the world's hottest pepper. Let me ask you guys a question. Am I a jerk for doing that? Am I a jerk being a stickler for that? Because I sort of feel like I'm picking on them, but come on. I mean, I... let's get into this. Sorry. Here's the pork. Ah. Oh. Smells hot. I can smell ghost pepper. That's the cool thing. So many times in ghost pepper sauce, you smell the pepper, but it's not ghost. This is ghost. I like that. Oh. Probably ought to give you the ingredients, huh? Let me do that. Naga Jalokia. It's ghost pepper. Uh, first ingredient, that's nice. Water, salt, acetic acid. It's an acidity, acidity regulator. Garlic, uh, sodium erythorbate, cornstarch and xanthan gum as thickeners, and citrus fiber. Never heard that before in a sauce. Citrus fiber. Does smell good. It smells like ghost peppers. Here we go. Here's the pour. Pretty smooth sauce. No chunky monkeys in this thing. All right. I wish you luck. Tropical Pepper Company. This is their Naga Jalokia pepper sauce. Made from the world's hottest pepper. I'm Johnny Scull. This is JC. Tastes great. Great sauce. I like the taste of this. Very simplistic. You get the, the Naga Jalokia pepper, you get the Buchalokia ghost pepper, a bunch of different names. Ghost is what it is. You get a little bit of the garlic, a little bit of a citrus, 
uh, citrus notes. It's great. Here's the thing, they say more than one drop is suicide. It's been fun having the channel guys, but this is it. I can't do it anymore. Tastes good. It's a good, I like the way this sauce tastes. Just fix your label. You know what, this worked 20, 15 years ago, 10 years ago when nobody knew anything about peppers. I'm talking to Tropical Pepper Company now. We've got an educated crowd now. You can't do this. You can't say this is the highest pepper because the Scoville Squad knows it's not. And we'll catch you on that. We're sticklers for facts. So is this a good sauce? Yeah, it really is. I like this. And it's a good thing because, man, the last sauce was horrible. It was so salty. This has the salt level that I prefer. I like. Um, it's great. Great. Um, the finish is just all ghost pepper. It really is. This is a lovely tasting sauce. Um, the heat on it, if you're not a chili head, it's going to be a 10. It's just that simple because anything hot, I mean, maybe past jalapeno is going to be a 10 for a non chili head. Uh, if you like hot stuff, this is going to be maybe a, it's absolutely a solid six, maybe even a seven. Tasty sauce. I like it. Boy, it's a good thing. Tropical pepper company. Boy, I was going to give it to you. Fix your label, man. Seriously. How hard is it? All right. Uh, let's get to Tommy's picks. All right, guys. Here we go. Jump right into it. It's from the last video. This is from uh, the last video I did. Um, Tommy, you got to get better at the last video. Chances are the last video I did, see it isn't the last video, the last video I did was the late night snack video. And this isn't that. So, uh, here's the, the comment. James J, sold. I believe that if someone was just watching for the first time, they might be wondering what Johnny could possibly mean by the quality of the burn. CTH has its own language and we understand it. Good question. I'm glad you brought that up, James, and thank you for highlighting that, Tommy. Let me read Tommy's answer and then I'll respond. This is funny. I really like bringing, out, bringing this out because we really do have our own language. Uh, we've got our own inside jokes and the quality of the burn is really something that wouldn't mean anything outside the chase the heat. A great comment. It's a two. Let me explain for those who don't know what I mean by that. We do, I just reviewed this. This is a ghost pepper. The ghost pepper, the quality of a ghost pepper burn, it's kind of slow creeping. It builds, builds kind of slowly and, stay, and ramps up like this. And then kind of comes down like this. That's kind of how the ghost pepper. Now, if it's a smooth, consistent burn and kind of a smooth, consistent decline. If you eat a Carolina Reaper or a Seven Pot Primo or a Chocolate Pulo, or the really hot ones, it goes like this. It's a more violent burn. It feels like you're being attacked more, much more so than a burn that just comes on. That's what I mean by the quality of the burn. You know, burns, every pepper burns differently. They burn in different places. It's really fascinating. Anyway, that's what I meant. Thank you, James J., for the comment. And this one goes to, again, the last vid. I need better than that, Tommy. He's going to break my chops for giving him a hard time. But. Okay, Alan loves music. Hey, Dum Dum, you give me gum gum. Oh, you in trouble, Dum Dum. <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? Moors, yikes. Okay, I like this comment. I find it funny. And if you haven't seen the Ben Stiller movie, A Night at the Museum, uh, then you may not get the reference of Dum Dum and Gum Gum. Um, I've got to assume he was looking behind you at the orange statue you got right next to your blue skull because that orange statue does look an awful lot like the one from the movie. It's from Easter Island. Um, I dig it. Um, I have to work. I, I dig it when I really have to work for the answer. I like the comment. Two points. It's my Easter Island, dude. He just powered out of chili. All right. Let me give you a close-up of this guy. People always ask about it. I wish the jaw came down. Great skull. It was 3D printed by Nephew Scoville, my sister's son. All right, let's go to the third and final comment. This one comes to us from Jason Luke. At least the what comment, what video? I need the name of the video. Sorry. Tommy's really doing a great job. He's busting the shops. We're like this. Um, at least the microwave isn't open all the time, LOL. I promise to stop highlighting any more of the microwave comments. It says press start. I won't do it. I'm sorry. 
Um, I promise to stop highlighting any more of the microwave comments, but this one has to get in there because the reason is for those of you who have been, have, have been around uh, Chase E for a long time, you know that there's been issues with Johnny's microwave that drives Scoville Squad crazy like that. I'm sorry. Um, that said, I've never heard reference to the door being wide open, so I think it's just poking fun at the rest of them. Uh, if he's not, I took a pretty bad comment and turned it into a pretty good one. Either way, solid two. We'll open the microwave just for as tipping the hat to that comment. All right, we're going to wrap this thing up, you guys. Tommy, thank you for the picks. Um, just bust your chops a little bit. You guys leave in the comments. The, my family, I love you. You're hilarious. You're intelligent. You're fun. You're creative. And you're making the comment section so much fun. It isn't long before people show up just to read the comments. You guys are brilliant, and I love you for it. Uh, we're going to wrap it up right here in front of this good bottle of sauce from Tropical Pepper Company. It's our pepper right here. Click that pepper and become part of the family, this craziness. Get on this Chase the Heat school bus, all right? If you don't want to miss a, a video, man, don't. Uh, little bell there, click it, Dropbox happens, get all, you'll miss nothing. League of Fire there, can't say enough good stuff about League of Fire. Last day of the month, we're, do, we're going after them. Right there, more videos. It's going to be a great day today, go out and make it happen. I'm Johnny Scoville, this was Chase the Heat.